Zombie Apocalypse. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another Age of Empires mobile video. Uh, in the last video, I showed you guys the different types of troops there are and uh, what are their counters and how to use them to uh, get the best results when you're attacking uh, tribes and uh, enemies, right? Okay, today, before we get started, uh, I just want to let you guys know, if you guys haven't downloaded this game yet, this game is super awesome. It's called Age of Empires Mobile. It's available in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. You can go ahead and download it now for free. And yeah, right now I'm at Town Center level 17. And uh, you can see that uh, most of my buildings, I mean every building, it looks a bit Japanese. It's because I actually picked out the Japanese Empire when I started out. But the fun thing is I can anytime go ahead and change this uh, uh, Japanese Empire civilization to a different civilization if I want to and that's gonna be coming up in the next video where I'm gonna show you guys like when you select uh, an empire how the buildings and everything change how the stats that affect your castle and your attack your economy things like gathering and training all these things differ when you change your civilization and that's gonna be coming up in the next video stay tuned for that okay guys I've just uh, promoted a bunch of troops right now if I go ahead and show you guys you can see that I've already gone up to 20,000 tier 3 swordsmen I've gone up to 20,000 pikemen uh, 17,000 uh, cavalry 16,000 archers that's a lot of troops guys and because I promoted most of these so I've got like stronger tier troops now and when your troops get promoted their power level increases too that's why my total power has also increased okay the next thing I want to talk to you guys is about your heroes yeah this is gonna be important guys because uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about you can see that uh, I already have a bunch of heroes right now especially the gold ones these are legendary heroes and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight gold heroes, which are legendary. And I also got these epic uh, type heroes too. So these ones are going to be your best level heroes. And there's a lot of stuff you do with these heroes because heroes gives you stats a lot. And whenever you attack with your armies and marches, you're going to be using heroes with the types of troops you have. You can see that different heroes are concerned with different types of troops. You can see that uh, this one is uh, only specialist for specialized for swordsmen. That means like if you deploy this with swordsman troops, it's gonna give you a bunch of stats. Same with uh, Josephine. But this one you can actually send with two types. You can send it with swordsmen or archers. So it co it's compatible with uh, more. Here it's swordsman. Here is Woodsman. You can see that this one's Pikeman and Cavalry. And these all provide stats. And when you're sending a hero, it increases the amount of uh, troops you can send to. Okay, let's say that your basic march is 5000, right? If you add this hero right here, because I've leveled up and ranked it up to level 40, my capacity has increased by 8200. That means I can send a lot more troops. And whenever you increase your level, your unique capacity goes up too. You can see that it's, see my hero right now, this one is at 39 and it's got 8000. And at level 40, 8200. The more troops you can send, the higher chance you're going to win too. The higher strength you're going to have. So I'm going to go ahead and put this level 40. You can see that it went up to 8200. And you can also rank these heroes up. But for that, you're going to need to have medals. You're going to slowly collect them. You can see that I've already done this for Josephine. Uh, it's almost done with the first star. Rank 1. Just need 8 more medals, that's it. And another thing is, guys. Uh, these heroes have a lot more stuff you can do with them. One thing is gear. The other is talent. The other is skills. Okay? If we talk about skills is that uh, while you're attacking them while you're attacking anything 
a tribe or anything, your heroes are going to uh, proc up their skills. They have special skills. If you click on this, you can see that it says Steel Rose. Look at the damage it does. It procs up every time. When uh, You can see the bar goes up and it procs up. This commander skill comes out and it deals a, an insane amount of damage. See, and the more you level up, uh, you will unlock these levels too. So this one unlocks at level 25, when your hero level 25, and this one at level 38. Since I'm already level 40, I've already unlocked all these, and all these can be boosted up to a higher level. So you can upgrade these skills too, because these skills actually do damage. You can see the amount of damage it does, 82% damage rate, 85% damage rate. 76% damage rate. This one is the highest one. Of course, I can do that for the other heroes too. If I go here and you can see that uh, uh, this one has uh, uh, one, the main one at level 20. I just unlocked this because I went to level 40. This unlocks at 38. I can go ahead and upgrade this to level 10. But uh, let me show you guys, okay? It's at 44%. See, it goes up 46%. The damage you do will increase. So that's really good. For this, you're gonna need skill points. You can collect this easily, daily, from uh, uh, recruitment. Or you can just basically hit tribes. Whenever you go out and you hit these common tribes, I'm not gonna show it exactly, but uh, these common tribes, most of them have uh, what you call skill points. And these actually help make your heroes stronger the stronger your heroes get the stronger the army that you send with those heroes are gonna be so for example if I send a swordsman army and if I send this hero that army is gonna be way stronger too okay guys uh, right now I've zoomed out of the map right now and I wanna go ahead and find some targets because I wanna go get some kills so right now let me zoom in back in. I can see that uh, there are red spots. When I zoom in out enough, I can see some red dots. These dots are actually enemies. That means th those are people that are not in your alliance. And any blue cones like these, these are your allies. If you zoom in, you will see that they are allies in my alliance. Okay. So I want to go here, right here. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go and attack uh, these castles right here. It has a level 13 citadel, there's a level 9 citadel. But the thing is, I'm a little far from these guys. Not actually, a little, a lot far. 371 kilometers. So I don't wanna send a march that long. So what I'm gonna do is, I want to come and move a little bit closer to this guy. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna press somewhere like here okay if I press somewhere like here click on this you can see that I can press relocate okay it automatically shows my castle like a, a temporary uh, showing where my castle will be if I port so what I want to do is I want to find a place where it's fully green which covers my castle and the thing is guys you can see what it says right free land limited relocator yeah you can see it's it's saying that it's free right it's because this is a this is one type of relocator you can use which is called a free land uh, which is a land limited relocator that means you can use this relocator to move anywhere where your alliance is okay so basically if I zoom out you can see uh, where my alliance land is so if I zoom out enough you can see that this is my alliance territory and any piece of any block of land that has an alliance flag is where you can use this relocator so if I press somewhere okay let's take here for example you can see that I can press here and press relocate and I can move my account here and it automatically sh shows this free land limited relocator and 
It's not that I can't move to another place, guys. You see that it automatically turns green. But the relocator changes. Because it shows now that it's a targeted relocator. But this is a different kind of relocator. That means that you can use this relocator to move anywhere in the land. That means you can move without any restrictions. Like uh, it doesn't have to be a land owned by your team. Nothing like that. So you can use this one to move to any piece of land you want or you can use the land limited relocator to move uh, anywhere where your alliance territory is. And the fun thing is guys, if you click on Citadel buffs and go right here, you can see Citadel relocation. Here are the types which I talked to you guys about. There is a free land limited relocator, that means that you get a free relocator and it refreshes every two days guys so that's really cool so every two days you get a free relocated to move anywhere where your alliance is so that's really cool because once your alliance expands their land you want to keep moving with them so every two days you can use this free land limited relocator and it's going to be completely free so you can use this to move anywhere where your alliance has occupied the land and if you can't you can use this land limited relocator you can buy one if you want to move like twice or thrice a day you can just go ahead and purchase one of these which is going to be about 500 points and the other one is a targeted relocator you don't need to move anywhere where your land is you can move to another place any place that is not your land you can even move to your enemy's place too using one of these but right now you can see that i want one but this one if you actually want to buy one you're gonna have to go to the market right here and go to the store and if you click on items you can see that both these relocators cost different because a targeted relocator cost 4000 coins and a land limited relocator cost 500 so a land limited relocator helps you move anywhere where your alliance is and a targeted relocator lets you move anywhere you want to move okay guys that's enough talking. Time to go... Was it here? Yeah, it was here, right? Time to go hunt. Okay, I'm gonna quickly move here. Let me move here, quickly. There we go. And that's how you move, guys. Also, make sure, guys, you cannot use these relocators while any of your marches or troops are outside. Once you recall all your troops back into your castle, then only you can move. So nothing can be outside, okay? Okay, let me go ahead and scout this one. And, okay, I'm going into a state of war. I understand. It also shows right here, at war. Once I stop doing any war action, like scout or attack, it will start to go to a 15 minute cooldown. Let me scout ahead. I can check it from the mail right here. What do they have? have 80,000 units okay a bunch of troops reporting to counter okay has a bunch of resources too which I can loot okay let's go for it guys I'm gonna go ahead and press attack and I don't want to send a single march they got 80,000 so I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these and it's gonna put the same speed and then I'm gonna hit attack And there we go guys, yeah, just kill all of his troops, now I'm taking his resources out, and yeah, that's gonna be an easy win. Look at this map, it looks really cool, it's more realistic than any game I've played before, because it looks real, because you can see even the soldiers and everything moving in real time, all these uh, tribes, resources, other castles and players, it's really fun guys. You should get this game right now. It's called Age of Empires Mobile and it's really fun. You can download it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store completely free to download and just come and play with us. It's really fun. 
So thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Bye.